and all the way over to Saudi Arabia. The difference is the air there is dry and it's extremely humid in northern India and in all of India. So it takes a while for the body to recuperate if it can at all. No rainfall, really much to speak of. A passing shower in Rajasthan, a little bit of cloud cover in Chennai, off the state of Kerala where the monsoon typically begins. This is not what we need to see. The monsoon season begins on June 1st and then runs through September and then retreats from the north. And I'll explain that more for you. This is something I've showed you before. The last several months have been devastating with a deficit several years. But this is just since 2012. We went back to 1970 to see what the difference is. Let me explain. First of all, June 1st, that's the beginning as mentioned. It didn't start until June 8th. I know that doesn't seem like a long period of time, but the farmers don't know when to plant their seeds and they can't plant early until they contract that rainfall. That green line, now the white line, is where the current position is. It should be up near the border of Pakistan. So this is an incredible amount of real estate that every well is drying up, every reservoir, and now the death toll is at 126 because of the heat. A decline in the average rainfall days. This is why we're seeing a shortage. An increase in the number of dry monsoon days. Groundwater depletion rate, we're seeing 10 to 25 millimeters per year. To go further with this, and this is what's staggering, the crop season in summer and in winter has seen since 1970 an incredible drop in the amount of rain across the entire landmass. This is depleting the groundwater. We showed you a video a couple of weeks ago. People are digging down below the wells that are dry to try to find any water whatsoever. What could happen without improved water management? This is a government issue here. 21 cities uh, by just next year could run out of groundwater. That's just next year. Now the projection in 10 more years. By the year 2030, 40% of all of India could have no water in their groundwater and no access to drinking water. We're hoping the in, uh, monsoon rains kick in in the next couple of days. And right now, India ranks 120th out of 122 for countries that are in current need of water and are in a water crisis. This is an unbelievable story that could get worse in the days ahead.